greetings to all our viewers. Welcome back to another episode of AC Centric News. I'm Jasper and I'm Adya. We are going to be your host for the day. If January is the month of change, February is the month of lasting change. January is for dreamers and February is for doers. Now, let's move on to the headlines. Grade 10 bids adieu. Anthony Claret School hosted parent teacher meeting on 19th of February 2022. Talentina, a talent show for the tiny tots of kindergarten, hosted online a grand success. Speak to lead, grade 3 marveled in the said elocution competition. Creative attire competition. The first graders showcased their creative skills in the competition held online. Your life is your story and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. Graduation is an exciting time. It's both an ending and a beginning. It is warm memories of the past and big dreams for the future. It is time to bid adieu to our much cherished 10th graders. The moving up ceremony was held on 26th of February with all his granddaughter. Now, let's hear from Great Ten family. Hello Surabhi, I really love the way you look today. It's so beautiful. Thank you. Um, I know that this is one of your precious moments in your life. Like, you know, to be the Miss Asian and I know that it will be etched to your heart forever. So, here is your opportunity to speak your heart up. So, is there something special that you would like to share with your beloved teachers? Thank you for the opportunity, teachers. And yes, I have a lot to say about my ACN family. First of all, I would like to thank our father for being such an amazing principal. Father, you have always created platforms for us to showcase our talents and you have always encouraged us. We start our day in school with your smiley face and that brings out a positive vibe in all of us. Hi mom, good evening brother. We are at the doorstep of yet another celebration where we will farewell to our most beloved them. At this occasion, I would like to ask you what strikes your mind when you think of them? What makes this unique? This 2021-22 match was a unique match, a challenging match. We had all kinds of students and teaching them was great fun. I enjoyed coming to school every day and facing these children with their multi-talented tasks. Hi sir, this is for the day. Hi, hi. You have been with them for a long time. Sir, at this moment, sir, can you please recall the fond memories of your teaching experience from the Moving On Batch? As a music teacher in Anthony Claret School, they are one of the best. Even the students in music, they are too good. I wish them a great success in the future life in music, wherever they go, school, colleges, wherever they go. I wish them a great success. May God bless them. Sir, can you please play a note for us? A hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles, a hundred miles. You can hear the call from AC School. A hundred miles. Thank, Thank you, sir. Education is a shared commitment between dedicated teachers, motivated students, and enthusiastic parents. Anthony Claret School hosted its third parent-teacher meeting for the academic year 2021-22 on the 19th of February. The occasion proved to be a great opportunity for the Asian family to discuss future endeavours and the changes to be made to facilitate betterment and wholesome development. Over to Yalni from Great Set. Hello ma'am, extremely glad to have you here. So, uh, your ward is about to join the ninth grade and it's time for him to choose his stream of studies. So, uh, does he have any plan in mind? No, nothing, any plan like that. He just chose science stream, science and computer science. So, uh, can you explain me how did he come up with this decision and what are the factors that led him to this decision? He is more interested in science subjects, so he put computer science and science. And he uh, had no idea about that uh, commerce or something like that. So, he chose it. So thank you ma'am for your reply, it means a lot to us. Thank you. Well, I think social interaction, especially for students among their peers, is a very important part of their learning as well as their overall development. 
Unfortunately, the pandemic has caused a great amount of disruption and my son terribly misses school, the interaction with his teachers, the play. Well, it's a general notion that uh, kids do miss the classroom and everything. Uh, especially if it's like you who's already been in classroom setting, right? So, I may not go with a blanket statement, but as far as my daughter is concerned, she's just in the school. So, she's not exposed to that uh, school environment. Thanks to the technology. So that way, uh, the bright side I see is the bonding between not only kids and the teachers, but the bonding between the parents and the teachers has uh, actually increased. Talent is God given. Everyone has a talent. What is rare is the courage to follow. AC School always strives to nurture the inherent potential that each and every student has. With the same spirit, a virtual platform was given to the students of Upper Kindergarten to showcase their entertainment skills through talent team. A competition with three categories singing, dancing, and a fashion show. Three levels of competitions were conducted, and the winners were announced on 26th of February 2022 after the grand finale. The students exhibited their skills, taking the audience into their spell through their truly creative and enchanting acts. Along with us, we have Joanna Shaiju, who secured third place in Talentina singing competition. We have a reporter, Alina Jason, reporting from Joanna's house. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. We are extremely delighted to witness yet another fascinating vibe of Talentina cultural event. Imagine there's no heaven it's easy if you try No hell below us Above us only sky Imagine all the people Hello everybody, good day As we all know that Talentina is on the roll and we all are jolly excited about it Congratulations Joanna on winning third prize in Talentina how do you feel about it? Is Joanna too excited in taking part in this? Oh, first of all, I'm very happy and proud of Jo that she got selected for the finale of Talentina and uh, now she's also won her third prize. That's great to hear from you. Well, don't you think it would have been much more better if this event was hosted offline? How, how would you compare this event being held offline or online? Currently, in the current pandemic situation, the online mode seems to be working fine. The teachers have done an amazing job of conducting all these events and we are seeing the results. The kids are having a ball of a time. But we feel that if this entire uh, event was held offline, the kids would have had a real-time experience of, you know, doing it on stage, getting over that stage fright, and you know, actually performing to a crowd which will applaud them for their performance. Kids prosper best with a broad curriculum that celebrates their various talents and not just a small range of them. Speech is power. Speech is to persuade, to convert, to compare. Speak to Lead, an elocution competition was organized for the third graders on 28 January 2022. The activity was an attempt to promote English speaking skills in terms of pronunciation, voice modulation and to check how well they connect with the audience. Students performed exceptionally well, winning applause from the jury. The use of vocabulary, style and articulation by the contestants was commendable. Style is nothing but an expression of imagination. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? The first graders participated in a creative attire competition which aimed at bringing out their hidden talents and instilling confidence in them. The students had participated with utmost enthusiasm and presented themselves with innovative attires which left the audience spellbound. Hats off to the little ones. Well, well, well. That show was an eventful month. That's all we have for you. Until next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.